What up, beautiful people? How are you all doing? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana baby, right here in, um, I think I'm 15 minutes away from Ho, the capital of the Volta region. Listen, I'm super, super tired, and I'm so happy to see. Slow down, bro. To see Fufu is ready. Listen, I've been in the Volta region, and the only food that I'm eating is Akpene. And you know what? After eating Akpene, all I say is Akpene Marana Mau. But yo, enough of the Akpene. Since I've seen Fufu is ready, we are right here at uh, Point and Kill. This is point and kill, and I'm definitely gonna point one and kill it. Catch and kill, yeah. This one is catch and kill. I'm not pointing there. Point one and let me kill it for you. Bro. Ha! They all left. They're there. Oh! No, man, how? You see? Let it touch the ground more or less like hand. Then scoop. Then go. Keep going, go. Go. go 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 fast go 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 yeah no. oh, yeah <laughs> yo <laughs> oh, 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 oh. there goes your food yeah dinner got away bro oh, Too much pepper, but I like it like that, man. I invited. I normally don't show you the food that I eat, but this one I'm gonna show you because I want you to be jealous. The fact that I'm eating my favorite food, <laughs> and stick and stay around. Um, I think if you want to see more of um, how we're gonna dive into the food, food check out. Um, stuck on the islands YouTube channel for me I'll show you whatever happens in here I mean so that you can also visit comment yeah you gotta check out that channel SOAI vlogs this man is gonna destroy this food it's yeah I'm not destroying it I'm dismantling it <laughs> <laughs> you know what I found myself in here because I wanted to eat do you love food or women? Oh, not a very tough question to answer. Yeah. Yeah. I think I have a sister and a mom, so I, and they cook for me, so I love both. No, they cook for you. Yeah. So you eat? Yes. So food over women? No, but if the women were in there, I wouldn't eat. I would cook myself, bro. No, no, no. no. What, but what their, 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 food is, their food is nicer. See. Hey, your you mom listen, cook, your my, mom cooks my, my better mom than cooks, you. Yeah, my mom cooks better than me. But don't forget that my dad, yeah, chose my mom to cook for him. Well, so if your mom wasn't there to choose, uh, the food this guy is smart, man. He doesn't want to choose food over women. But me, food over women. Because, no, 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 you know, no, no. even if my girlfriend comes around and says, oh, baby, touch me, I'll tell you I'm hungry. You need to give me food. But if she don't come, how are you going to chop? She came, that's why I'm getting the food. But if I don't have the food, I won't be able to make her happy. Well, it depends. Ah. It's, it depends. <laughs> so I came here to eat, but uh, I found out that this place is not just um, a, a restaurant. Yeah. What is this place all about? Well, um, so this place is basically an ecotourism stroke uh, agro-tourism center. So agro-tourism basically because we have accommodation here. You can come and um, stay with us and partake in farming activities. 
that's the whole idea of agrotourism and then also ecotourism because this place is, is natural it's a natural setting okay um, and we are trying to promote that kind of tourism as well so so which means that whatever you eat in here comes from the farm yes uh, it comes from because i farm. added point and kill yes the, uh, the catfish the no catfish. You, you actually didn't catch i didn't point you didn't point you, you tried to catch ah bro <laughs> 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 you know, but, but uh, apart from that, le le let's talk about, I mean, that was um, catfish. Yeah. Um, what if I want to try goat meat? Do you have goats that I have to go point it yeah. out so that they kill me? We have me? goats that you can point. We have pigs. There's rabbits. Uh, most people haven't seen a geese before. We also have geese. And There's ducks as well. So yeah. you have the poultry in here? Yes. Can we check it out? Sure. No problem. So... Here we have the rabbits. Um, they look, they look very innocent. <laughs> I even feel bad for them, you know. You feel bad? Yeah. No, no, so don't. I mean, you point the rabbit. Yes, and then we basically, and then prepare them for it. Yeah. So you, you guys reel the rabbits yourself. Okay. Hi. Hi. <laughs> So, yeah. It's so cute. Bunny. No, Easter Bunny. <laughs> yeah, so. I, I don't think I'll be able to do that. Yeah. Let's go inside. Oh, come on. <laughs> but we eat chicken. You eat chicken? Yeah. You know what? My whole life, I've never killed chicken before. Oh, you don't have to kill to eat. <laughs> no, I enjoy it. <laughs> I mean, even this, if you cook it for me, I'll eat it. You eat it. But I'm here telling me that I have to kill this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, that's more rabbit. That's some of the, the yam produce. Oh, yeah. so so, yeah, the farm? Yeah. What do you produce in the farm then? Um, yeah, we have yams, we have, a, we have farm plantation, uh, turmeric, cassava, mm. rice. Yeah, yeah, you just need that. This is a complete yeah. production house, man. Production From house. Farm to table. Yeah. Everything is just natural, so. I love free range chicken. But yeah, so since there's free range chicken. The layers, uh, there are la some layers there as well. You also well. have layers? Yeah. And there are turkeys in there. That's the geese. Oh. Hello! <laughs> Why are they not minding me? Oh. Because they don't know me. No, they don't. <laughs> Maybe, okay, okay. Ah, what, what are you trying to say? Finish it. No, no, Finish no, no. It. I, I was going to say something, but say, I realized say, say, it, say, it wasn't say. going to make say. sense. It wasn't going to make sense, so, yeah. <laughs> so these are our layers. Mm. The plan has to yeah, eventually we are going to move uh, the poultry from here mm -hmm. to that side. So we are just trying to phase off the animals little by little, and then we start new, a new at the other side. So I, I, I want since you have um, this is the poultry, mm -hmm. uh, more like um, animal rearing in here. Yeah. Can you take me to one of the farms? One that of is the closer. Farm. Okay, so sure. To check it out, so sure. that people can see that you have all of that. Sure. that Not. So right now we're on a uh, cassava farm. Uh, cassava farm? Yeah, you can see how. Is it cassava the only thing you plant in here? No, but for now we are in the... In dry the, season, yeah? Right? And the, okay. So we planted this about six months ago. Oh. Yeah. That's what you use for the fufu, eh? Yes. So I need to come and stay here? You had so definitely. So definitely. So I love eating fufu. I'll be eating fufu every, every day. day. What is that? Uh, that's a zip line we are constructing. Wow. So gonna zip you across the dam across the dam that there are crocodiles i think crocodiles in the makes dam, it though. more exhilarating uh, that's the whole point bro. Ad adrenaline no, no, pumping no no no, no I'm not we, doing we, that, we, bro. we want to create stuff in the volta region that 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 we haven't seen before you know yeah you haven't that's, seen that's before. the whole point you play with crocodiles so <laughs> as soon as you're on the line you just get to the pond you're like 
Crocodile here I come, then he jump in. I yes. mean it makes it more fun. And after you come out, your name will be in the Guinness Book of Records. Record. Yeah. <laughs> Is the route to heaven? Yeah. No, I don't want to go to heaven now. Oh. <laughs> Let me just go do the zip line, man. But you know, I'm not a big fan of zip lining, but climbing this is a bit scary now. But I have to climb it for you guys. Things we do for content. Let's go. One, two. This one, you have to watch your steps. Yeah, man. The steps are really short. Yeah. This, this is the river, the dam. Is it a natural one? It was formed by itself or it was created? Same. Semi man made. There was, yeah, there was a little water body. That's a crocodile! Oh, that's a crocodile! Fuck! That's a crocodile. Yeah! That's a crocodile, man! No way! Hey, see, if you ever try this zip line, <laughs> know that you are setting a death trap for yourself. No, no, no. no. I'm, not, I'm not gonna joke no, with you. No, no. That's a crocodile, bro. Yeah, that's, so, that's a so, croc. when, so when you are on. See, the glow. <laughs> See, if if you grow want to try this, I swear I'm gonna tell the Juju <laughs> man so that when you get there, you, you just drop. You just drop. The crocodile showed its head, man. So this is our pigry. Oh, yeah. See, it, it's very neat. I can very boost neat. one of the neatest in, in the whole the whole Ghana, in the whole world. <laughs> Hi. So this are like how many pigs do you have? Pigs do you have? Uh, you, you, you we have about seventy-ish pigs and piglets. Yes. Hmm. Wow. So this one is more about the pick and yeah. Pick and kill. Yes. Point and kill, man. Yo. Hi. Wow. Some spegmans. Yeah. I'm so impressed. And um, you do also horse riding in here? Yeah. So. Oh wow. Yeah. We are trying to bring in more recreational activities and facilities as well. That's the whole point of this place. Because of urbanization, we want a very serene and natural place where people can come and then just relax and also build uh, their. Um, uh, have a self well being, like have a good well being. Is it a Ghanaian owned? Yes, it's owned by. Is it possible for me to speak to him? Yes, uh, it's it, very possible. Is he around here? Um, No, he's based in Accra. He's based in Accra. He visits occasionally. But since I'm here, I need to call him. Yes, sure. All right, right man. Thank you so much for taking me around. I Thank really you. appreciate your Thank time. Thank you for if coming. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what will it be? The mentality. <laughs> MD. Hi, hi. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. And you? I'm great. For my, my first question would be like, are you are you from the Volta region? Yes, I am. And uh, where are you right now? I'm in Accra. You're in Accra? Which means you're based in Accra? I am based in Accra. Why, I just wanted to ask this question. Why is it that people from the Volta region, they go to Accra when they make money, they come back to where they come from and establish something because I'm so impressed. All the places that I've slept in the water region, they are owned by the indigenous people. I, I want to know, why do you guys do that? Uh, well, I, I think uh, for some of us, we want to give back to our society, you know, and then also uh, to encourage the locals also to think positively on uh, how they can, I mean, uh, also improve their lot. I mean, the possibilities that they did for uh, oh. People to start businesses and then they'll also uh, uh, make money out of it. You, you got a, a really beautiful place, man. Uh, thank you. And it's thank you, man. and it's so huge. How many uh, acres is this um, whole setting sitting on? Well, we have a, a land space of 150 acres. And what do you intend to achieve with 150 acres then? Well, provide a space for families to uh, visit and then identify with nature um, and also uh, develop uh, games and uh, sports that uh, people can have a rest. And also, well, I 
mean, with the uh, urbanization, a lot of young ones are losing sight of the basic um, animals that we have. I mean, so bring them closer to them so that they can identify with them. I mean, if you see, uh, I mean, something like a monkey or an ostrich, bring it closer for, I mean, school kids to learn from. When I was when I was coming here, my, my, the guy who brought me here told me that oh we're going to point and kill. I mean point and kill that I know is all about point a tilapia and then kill it and enjoy yourself. But I, I got in here and I realized that this place is actually not just point and kill. So what I I mean, what is the main ideology behind what you're doing? Because I'm seeing um, uh, what do you call it? It's more like an apartment. Um, I'm seeing a recreational center. I'm seeing a restaurant. Even you even have a farm. That's right. Oh. That's right. So yeah, how, this year we did we did about uh, twenty thousand. I mean yams, uh, which we normally bring out to our factory to process. Uh, so I mean the the idea is uh, it, it's a learning place, a place where people can identify with. I mean in all sorts. I mean identify with nature mm. in all forms. Mm. Uh, yeah, talking about point and kill, we wanted to do something different in the water region where you could even buy a whole pig, they slaughter for you, and then prepare a meal for a, a group, you know, mm. or rabbit, or turkey, or a guinea fowl. I mean, we are taking to a much, I mean, larger scale, something with a difference. Let me ask my final question and then I will just do the rest with the uh, people on the ground. Um, Thank you. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, what would it be? Certainly the mentality of the, I mean, the people. I mean, the thinking, the possibility mentality. That, does it mean that the people of Africa thinks that um, it's not possible to make it in Africa? Uh, majority. Majority. Uh, MD, you, majority. Have, you ever lived abroad? I, I have. I have. You have? I, I, live, I, I lived in England. And, uh, in London and then also in the US, and I, I do travel a lot. How, how long did you stay in the diaspora then? Uh, almost 15 years, yeah. Whoa! All together, yeah. And after 15 going, years, going back and forth. you came back home? Sure. I don't know, like, I have so many young Africans that are watching me. They said I should ask you, Honorable, 15 years of living in America and you still came back home. Is everything okay with you, though? Well, I think. I, what I wanted out there, I couldn't find it, but I found it in Africa. Whoa! That's a deep statement. And what is that? Well, I, I went to the diaspora chasing, I mean, uh, to look for greener pastures. But uh, it rather turned out when I came back to establish in Africa today, I mean, uh, I export to several other, I mean, uh, countries. Yeah. From Africa, yeah. You know what? Let, uh, this is just going to be our uh, first conversation. I believe that I'll I'll meet you one on one, and we're going to talk more. Thank you, Maya. Thank you so much for your time. Really, I appreciate. I appreciate it. that. Thank I you. Appreciate that. All right.